Okay. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Hey, David, how are you doing? Uh... <laughs> what? What did I lie about? What have I done? Sorry, two seconds. Uh, oh, shit, there goes everything. Oops. Well, where's the chat gone? In place? I am, yeah. So. So, yeah, everything should be fine. Um, I, The way things are set up are a little weird. Uh. Like you can see more now, a little bit smaller. And look, there's no like weird frazzle all around me. Isn't that cool? Uh, but I might have to gain this a little bit. Just because I can't actually have this is as far as this microphone goes and I can't have it anywhere else. Every, every, like all my cords are stretched to like the max. Come on. I do actually. So later in the week, so I bought a, a lapel microphone. So we'll do, <laughs> I've st <laughs> I still have shit everywhere, right? L literally everywhere. So, um, yeah, once we get, once I get a bit more shit packed away, we'll do, uh, like some sort of, like a cooking stream or something. I can show you, like, what, what's, what the place is like. At the moment, it looks like a fucking bomb went off. Um, but yeah, it's good. It's good. I've got, I've got lots of food in front of me. The lights are more reasonable. Got my new green screen set up finally. Uh, my head, I'm a bit bright. I have to turn that down slightly. Uh, uh, as I can. Get everything else okay. Oops. Okay. How's that? Yeah. Wait, let me let me put some put some gain on this a little bit. Let's pop that up. How's that? Is that louder? Maybe I can scooch over a little bit. Um Oh, actually, you know what it will be? Jesus. Uh, one. So I think I... Some stuff has, like, changed as I moved everything over. I didn't think um, anything would because it was just, like, unplugging the power. But I did turn this on. Uh, how did I get out of this? Uh, like last night to like watch a movie because <laughs> I didn't have internet until today, and I noticed stuff was like same as before. Stuff's deleted, so it's not. Uh, more volume on the mic, okay. Sacrifices. But yeah, I think it's because it's to the side of my face as well. But um Jesus. Right. But yeah, some settings have changed. I'm pretty sure that's about it though. But anyway. 
Uh, if anything does get wrong, let me know. This is new internet. I haven't really got any new tech. Um, I did buy a new power board and stuff too that could like handle everything being plugged into it at once. Can I move this anymore? No. <laughs> that just moves the entire desk. Okay. Right. Anyway, how are you guys doing? It's been, what, like a week and a bit since, uh, or a week? But actually, I've, I've got everything flipped around as well. So, screen used to be over there. Now it's over here. Um. So, I'll, I'll, you'll notice I'll keep looking like over this way. <laughs> I'll try not to do that. Um, well, this will be the test. So it literally activated two hours ago. Uh, time is it now? An hour ago, actually. So, um, we'll find out. There's no one else on this. The only stuff, the only things I've got connected right now are my the computer and my phone. So, actually, is my phone even connected? Yeah, my phone's connected. So this is like the test. If this fucks up, then, <laughs> then I guess it's my computer. <laughs> Let's hope not, hey? But yeah, fresh as it's gonna get, that's for sure. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna quickly listen in on the microphone just to make sure it's not horrible. I'm gonna quickly listen in on the microphone just to make sure it's not horrible. No, it's okay. If it gets like crackly or anything, I put the gain up quite high. So if it gets crackly or whatever, let me know and I'll try and work around it. Also, I think we're in a different spot than last time. Uh, I think I travelled here after the last stream. Possibly? I don't know. I really don't. Oh. So, what your ship's name pretty much? Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, I remember, like, last time you were saying the sleep schedule was all over the place. Man, you fixed that quick. Was that like only just under a week? Hey, Gongra, how you doing? <laughs> I feels like I guess it's just because it's a totally different place, but it feels like ages. Like, like I feel like I haven't streamed for months. It's been kind of like a hectic week, to say the least. I've never moved so much shit in my life. Actually, that's not true, but my own stuff. Moves pretty well. Well, that, well, that works out alright then. If you got if you got some like free uh, early days, I can't do that. I can't like like I'm exhausted now, but even then, I can't like force myself to go to sleep. Annoyingly. Oh my god. Do you have a break coming up soon, Conqueror? I hope so, after 11 freaking days. I did that once before when I went away for work, and that was more than enough. Today and Sunday. Ugh. Not enough, but at least it's something. Sorry, this is going to sound probably pretty bad. I'm just going to try and straighten this out a bit. There we go. Let's try and get this as close as possible. Without dragging my desk behind me. Mm -mm. Got anything planned for the days? I mean, just chilling. That's my go to. Is to. Uh, I'm going to turn the brightness up on this game. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, if I can.
Did that do anything? That did literally nothing. <gasps> Oh yeah. That's a wink, so that's good. Yeah, I mean I mean at least the the paycheck will be alright. <laughs> Surely. I'll do some chill. Yeah. That's my go to as well. Chill out and do absolutely nothing is my is my downtime. The last thing I want to do after a full freaking week is exhaust myself. Although I'm only w working four days a week now, which is good. What am I doing? Running in, in apart from running back and forth. What, I, what do I have money? I do. Let's go and sleep at the inn, so we can actually fucking see what's happening. Is this the inn? Paid weekly. That should well. I mean, it'll still carry over into the next week, though, right? At least you, you would hope you're not working eleven days for free. <laughs> How are you? Need a place it is very forlorn esque, isn't it? Why is? Hang on. Why is that so loud? So weird. I'll just, I'll just take that a smidgen more. It's like just having the stuff unplugged is enough to reset it. That's annoying. I feel like they may have stolen the idea for the <laughs> for the guy with the um elk. Or deer horns or whatever, because there's like a whole bunch of them. I guess they're like a clan or something. Just fall back sleep. That's alright, Daffodil. How you doing? Um, I don't you? mind if you fall asleep. <laughs> Can I have a room? Please? How are you? Did I? Watching 720 doesn't buffer. Hey, nice. There we go. This is all. We'll sleep until the daytime. Yeah, about that. So, hopefully, my internet should be. I guess. Does my internet affect what you guys can see? I guess it probably does, right? I don't. I don't even know how half of it works. I'll be honest. I've only been on here for four years. Speaking of which. Uh, we actually missed um, the, uh, what do you call it, like the four year anniversary of this channel. Um, that was in August, January, March, April, May, June, July, August, yeah. I totally forgot about it. I, like, just totally forgot about it, honestly. So we'll do a, when I get some time. We'll do another like marathon stream, like we did last year. I think last year we did Dead Space. Is that right? We did like sixteen hours for Dead Space, so we might do something similar to that again. Sorry, I'm. Tr I actually have somewhere to put my legs now, so I'm. That's that face I made was just me stretching my legs. Um, yeah. Uh, probably this week, maybe this week, so... Ooh. Right. So has it died down a little bit, Daffodil? It sounds very hollow and bassy and open room. Yeah. So, hang on. I... Don't judge me, okay? Because it's an absolute mess. 
but I will give you, I'll show you what I'm sitting in right now. Actually, can I, I'll just move this camera. All right, so, okay, wait a little bit. So, <laughs> behind there is my kitchen, but over there, see that's my like little setup area. But like, see what I mean? It's just, I'm in a very, very open room. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's not gonna be much filtering, if that makes sense. There's, uh, there's the bedroom, bathroom, and then the lounge room, lounge room slash kitchen. So. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, no, you gotta pay for that, sorry. Can't have that for free. <sighs> but it was, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, if you're in, I know some of you already saw it, but I, I burnt the shit out of the old, the old, um, green screen. So this one's new. This one is an Elgato one that I've had for months. That I only bought, I couldn't afford it, really. But I only bought it because it was went on sale. And they never go on sale. So I'm finally getting to use it. All clothes black. <laughs> yeah. That's all my gym stuff. And I, I, I literally just gave you a show of all my freaking underwear as well, apparently. Don't judge me for wearing thongs, alright? I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give you another look to to verify if that's right or not. Um next time settle. It does, yeah. So I've had I had all week to unload all my stuff. And then I've just spent like the last four days unpacking and like packing stuff away. Fucking nightmare. Uh so I've given up mostly. <laughs> I'll get back to it sometime this week. Can't wait to place one day. Yeah, it's um I needed it. Like I'm what I was stuck in the house with um how the fuck what are oh, here we go. It's a weird feeling and I actually watched a TikTok that was very like accurate about what it's like to to move out like the, when I was getting prepped and ready and stuff I was like okay as soon as I move out of here I'm gonna feel instantly better <clears throat> and everything's gonna be fine but it doesn't really feel that way kind of just feels like I, I feel like I'm still in my old room How just can I help you? it's just bigger if that makes sense so it really does take some time to be like, I think it's going to take some time anyway to be like, okay, this is yours now. You can like chill and do whatever you want, that sort of thing. So. Let's get over here. Mm. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Subscription, exactly subscribe to my only fans and then you get the full full body treatment but like i was saying i actually did go and buy i've got a, a lapel microphone that set hooks into my phone so we'll do some like cooking streams and stuff soon um so i'll, I'll give you a bit more of a tour tour <laughs> when uh, i'm all set up and everything's a bit more like the kitchen is a mess it's disgusting Absolutely disgusting. Hang chicken injury. Bit of a. I don't even know if I should. I mean, it's probably fine. You guys already know more than most people about me, anyway. I'm not a big fan of lingerie. That mean, like I don't. I don't find it. Normal clothes do it for me more than lingerie. And you know what? I just. I. That's all you're getting on that subject. <laughs> Jesus. Um, um, hey Avery, how you doing? This I do actually. I really, 
it's very strange going from um, seven freaking cats to nothing. So it's a little, it's a little hard to get used to. Okay, so I've got a ton of money. Holy shit. Okay, so I guess we can go and sell this stuff. I'm sorry, I'm trying to... I, I'm literally just wandering around like, like a chicken without a head. Um, yeah, let's pop this up a bit. New place. It's all right so far, Avery. It's a total mess, but it's getting there. <laughs> so we get a special enemy fans tour. Of course, Conqueror. Of course. The first subscriber gets a, a special tour. Uh, man. <laughs> I do even have a special little maid out, maid's outfit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you can always do... Jesus. Sorry. No, I don't know what that was. Um... You can always do like a little, a small cooking stream, like something, something that only takes a little while and then move something else. Oh my god, Avery, I'm sorry to hear that. That's awful. I can, I can see why I haven't been asleep. I, well, How can I'm I glad he's uh, responding to the treatment. But no, I, I can't imagine that makes you want to sleep at all. Uh, yes, yes. It's very strange not having dogs to bark and carry on constantly. Ooh. Oh, is that the? I've seen videos of that. Is that? Oh, that's got to be a weird, weird feeling. I don't know what I was going to use this money for. It's been oh, it's been like a week since we played, so I'm just going to go and buy the the stuff from this guy. I think. Costume for Armageddon. Wait, like the Armageddon, like end of the world, or is there some sort of event called Armageddon? Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Like if you've only got, if you can only stand for a little while, get everything ready beforehand, and make it like as how can I help painless as possible. Sorry. Increase maximum mana by forty. Okay, I don't, I guess we, what was my plan for last time? Does anybody remember? Because I fucking don't, I don't, at all. Hmm. Uh, does that make any answers? No, yeah, true. Although, I imagine as a dog. Being able to, um, or hearing that high pitched noise would be a nightmare. I mean, to be fair, the plague, a plague doctor outfit could work quite well for uh, for the actual end of the world. I feel like. American specific. So <laughs> just, oh yeah, is that CVS? Is that what it is? Is that what um. I am uh, 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 
Alphalmuses don't really do that. Um, talk to Moffat. Find the priest who fled in the desert. Oh yeah, we do have to go to the desert, don't we? To Lavanch. So we could do that, I guess. I don't really know what I was planning. So... You can just go, <laughs> I guess. I don't. I really don't know. <clears throat> What's the um? Oh, like the the. It's like a pimp walking. Oh, hang on. I gotta find this. It's also very weird. You can see my full face now, which normally usually you couldn't. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to pay more attention to like shaving my face now. Um, what is it, Plague Doctor? So let me. <laughs> Who's Lenny Bruce? I don't know who that is. Yeah, yeah. I'm a man of simple pleasures. It does not take much to entertain me, apparently. Okay, so this. Oh. Caldera. Abrasar. Where's the desert? <laughs> Shit. Into the desert in Ab okay, so the desert okay, so this is where we have to go. So if we head to the east should be good. <laughs> I know it's great, isn't it? That video is like ten years old, but every time I see it, it makes it it has like a uh, resurgence every now and then. It's like oh shit, yeah. I wonder what that guy's doing now. Hopefully he had a long and successful career as a plague doctor. Also, I think another reason why the microphone is so quiet is because I'm not really quite sure how much noise I can make here yet. So as I get more comfortable here, I think the volume will probably increase. I can I can tell like I'm talking quite quietly now. Like all the walls are concrete. So should be fine. But I haven't been here long enough to piss anyone off, so I want to try and keep it that way for as long as possible. But if there are any issues with the audio, let me know. So far the stream seems to be holding up quite well. If not go for it. Well that's the thing, I don't I don't even know. So I have, I know I have one neighbor who's like directly across from me, but I don't know how many people are actually in this building. I like, it's kind of hard for me to tell. I, ha I know there's cars there, but I haven't seen uh, anyone other than the guy across the hall. I can hear, I, I heard someone. Uh, but I don't know if that was like outside because um, it's it's a very it's very packed here. Like there's buildings next to me. Oh man! Every time I have to get used to this game again. Every time. Feeling critical surge contains 
Lenny Alfred Schneider. Still, that doesn't ring a bell. Okay, cool. Charlie Link was best. It was, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Um, although so far the only like big noise thing here so I'm top floor and by top floor I mean second floor there's someone who has the fucking loudest car in the world around here somewhere and it echoes through this entire place and it sounds like a it sounds like a like a jet is going off it's ridiculous uh, oh my god, I don't even know where I am now. I guess we just head east. Oh, do I have travel rations? I do, okay, cool. Uh, but yeah. Oh! Oh, so that's the Colossal Hive, which is directly east, so I'm like here. Okay, cool. Just have to try and learn how to play the game all over again. Sorry we played this three times in a row, over like the last week or so. But everything else isn't working. Uh, and like it's just, stuff is missing. So, I don't know... Hmm. Um. Shit, what was I going to say? Yeah, so I haven't had internet until today, like I said. But I've had the computer set up for about two days. Uh, and in that two days, stuff has deleted itself. So I thought it was like Windows updates, maybe, deleting the things. But it's kind of starting to seem like stuff is vanishing off my hard drive for whatever reason um which i can't imagine is a good thing so i think about a new hard drive might be on the horizon soon <laughs> that's exactly what i need to piss more money away into this fucking computer that'll be great won't it hmm My windows aren't open, so sorry if you can hear, like, the shit passing by. They're not open and it's ridiculously loud. Enter Hive's Trap. You know, I think I might be okay. Also, where's my sound? It's like completely quiet. Oh no, there we go, there is some sound. So if we go up and around. Okay, so last time I think we got this book, didn't we? And then what did we do? I think I we cleared out the old city. And then I think I did some I just went and sold some stuff off stream. I then took the carriage to that place. But that was about it. So I don't really know. I'm sure I had something planned. Can't remember what, but can't have been that important if I forgot. If we follow this road, we should get to the desert. And then this will be like the first or another uh, or an area that we haven't been to before. Oh, I don't like you. I think he's killed me before. Okay, I think maybe we can we can turn this up a little bit. There we go. 
mostly aging old people. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's, I think I think I might be similar. I, I haven't seen anyone except for my like next door neighbor, and he's kind of up there. But everyone else. I don't know. It, there's some. Like, I saw someone leave who was fairly young, but I don't, they haven't been back, so I don't think they live here. Uh, but I, I'm getting the distinct feel of the oldies, <laughs> really. Um, yeah. Which, I mean, I feel like old. Older people are like best neighbors, right? And they're not gonna make any noise. Okay, so we're. Run this little bridge here. Uh uh. Although, I will say, I'm gonna whisper this. There is someone that I've heard like coughing and like spluttering. All night. To the point where I was like, hang on, is someone like dying here? Or am I imagining like that? And like I said before, I don't know if it's in this apartment complex or if it's somewhere else, but it was freaking disgusting. Like four o'clock in the morning and someone's like bleh, bleh. Jesus. Can you like, can you like chill? I'm trying to unpack all of my shit. I don't need to be sick as well. Thanks. Oh, don't even. Don't even get me started. So, speaking of ghosts, right. The lady that I'm renting off, for whatever reason, um, she's left a bunch of stuff here. It's very out of the way. It's not like in the road for for me. Um, but she didn't have anywhere to put it. And it wasn't like enough stuff to warrant getting a storage unit. A little annoying, but I can deal with it. And as I was moving in, she told me that she's left her husband's ashes in one of the boxes. I don't know which one. Um, yeah, I don't know which box. Uh, chop, chop, thing. So, there's about 10 boxes in here. No idea which one it's in. And I feel like you probably established so far. I do believe in uh, uh, spooky stuff. And she said that she will do a ritual before she leaves to make sure that he knows that I'm okay and to be nice to me. <laughs> Like, that was pretty much her exact words. And it's just like, right, cool, 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 cool. So if it, when the haunting starts, since a week or so, yeah, I've got some, um, I, I, I do, I quite like, I mean, I like stuff to smell nice, so I've came pre-packaged with about seven months worth worth of incense so that's i'm not sure that was sort of i, I didn't want to press the issue because it was kind of like well I, she started to say like he what had happened to him so he was like overseas and he died and 
or actually the word she used was murdered. Um, and then she started to get quite emotional for, you know, good reason, I'm sure. And I was like, okay, I, I won't, I'm not going to press the issue if this is like, you know, a big thing. Oh, God. So I was like, okay, that's fine. It's out of the way. I don't care. It's, I can, I can live with it. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a bit weird, but it's not my place to judge really. You want to leave it here, sure. As long as, it, as long as I'm not, uh, going to end up on one of those spooky shows. It's kind of like, wouldn't you, I, I think she's living, like, I think she has another partner, husband, boyfriend, whatever. Um, and I think, <laughs> A boob. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think she has like another partner, and maybe that's why. Maybe she, she, there's something like sort of along those lines. She doesn't want to. I don't know. I don't know. I can't even begin to guess, honestly. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't know. It, it's just, it, I feel like you don't use the word murdered without there being reason for it. And she's, she's up there. She's like 50, 60-ish. I'm not 100% sure on her age, but she came over. She came over from Thailand with her son and her husband had to stay. And that's pretty much all the information I got from her. And that's when she was starting to get like a little bit upset. I was just kind of like, okay, sure. Uh, I don't really want to have to deal with the waterworks. So. <laughs> She's a really nice lady though. Um, so I'll... Uh, won't go out of my way to pry into her issues like that. Like, hey, what's up with your dead husband, lady? Please leave this apartment, you disrespectful Australian shithead. Oh god, okay. I wonder if I'm going to have to take the long way. Or can we just run straight up? Fuck me. I've got two bright lights, I've got the desert. <laughs> I need I need that, that pair of sunnies back soon. So not this way. Is it? Oh good. This is where we can get all of the cool mage stuff apparently. I'm hot. Do I need to cool down? Yes, possibly. Subug. Protect from the cold. Uh, protection from hot and freezing environments. That'll do. I'm breathing up to sing. <laughs> oh yeah. I've heard that that um the nose thingies oh it's very satisfying to get them removed. I've seen some videos of it though. And, yeah. But how how are you doing after all the after the surgery, Avery? All's well, I hope. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, man. One more day. One more day. That's exciting. It's not long at all, and you'll, I guess, be able to breathe. Bro <laughs> breathe, bro. Ugh. Really? God, what am I like? Oh shit. Spitting over here like some common pleb. Ooh, pickaxe, sweet. Broke the rule? Why is that a rule? Do 
You saw the difference here. <laughs> Got all that. Can we right? Surely, like the shower loosens all that stuff up anyway, right? That should be fine. Why is it so bright? Look at the the shine from my oily forehead. That is disgusting. Yeah, I feel like that's fine. I mean, I'm not a medical expert, granted. Uh, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. But I feel like some some steam and as long as you're not exerting yourself and causing more damage, you should be fine. Really? <laughs> I recently did the, I mean it's not, it's not really comparable, but there's a video going around on TikTok of people who have like, like you know how you know, when you breathe your nose switches which nostril to use, and people like picking, moving their nose so they can breathe in through both nostrils at the same time, and I tried that, and it like changed my life, basically. <laughs> This is not a beach. Well, I'm sure we'll start hallucinating some water soon if uh, we're out here much longer. Basically turn it into a beach. It's true. Well, yeah, I guess it's true. There's not many places that are just like completely land. Uh... Although I guess like Coruscant from Star Wars, that's there's no beaches there. That's all. That's all city. That's about it. That's all I can think of. Uh, purifier. Yes, I've heard the air purifiers can help. I'm <laughs> just. So yeah, of course, right. Like, what, what useful stuff could they possibly uh, figure out? Stop shaking. This desk is so, like, wobbly. Um, I was listening to a podcast uh, a little while ago, and it was about some, like, I don't know, 50-year-old murder or something. And one of the suspects in the murder was, like, a chiropractor. <laughs> and the only reason this guy was considered a suspect was because he was a chiropractor and apparently that was like quack science back in the day uh, rogue train playhouse kind of like disassociating a little bit here I know we just walked across the desert but I don't I barely remember doing that a bit. That's not great, is it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> that seems a little harsh. Really? Uh, oh, okay. So we came in here. That's our friend. Smooth the tailor. Strange name for a tailor. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> I'd like to get acupuncture one day, just to see what it's like. Seems like it could could be useful. Yes. Doing nothing. <sighs> this worries me. Very true. Very, very, very true. Recently, like as as I was unpacking, actually. The, uh, realizing how fucking hectic my work life is Ugh. to the point where unloading and loading all of my my belongings and moving them was actually less stressful than my job made me have a little bit of a uh, clarity moment as they say 
made for movement. I know evolutionarily, but mentally, I don't want to move anymore. <laughs> I want to be a Jabba the Hutt esque. Oh, cool statue. <laughs> wow. Ahem. Yes! Hero Godsend. Yeah. This worries me. I feel like it's a bit more. Yes. Um, this it's definitely worries more me. accepted, right? Yes. This worries me. Chiropractical stuff now. I didn't realize it was such like a, like a. Ah, oh, he's a chiropractor or she's a chiropractor. Although, maybe we're talking about like the sixties. Oh god, it was so seventy years ago. They were talking about the fifties. I guess back then that was. I don't know, like a scam? I don't, I don't know. I can afford. I can afford some of this stuff, but. So there's someone here that apparently makes you really good armor. Don't know who though. Maybe it's. Uh... Oh, here we go. Master Smith. Probably. Probably useful. Yes, very true. Oh. <laughs> also true again. That's awful. I. I. Oh god. I hate. I hate how like hustle culture. How prevalent that is now. And it's just, I don't want to turn everything I want to do into a money-making fucking venture, you know, just so I can survive. It's like, ugh, can't I just have a hobby? <laughs> no? No, I gotta make money from it? Okay, good. Great. Strong backpack. Hmm. So many bad ones is ridiculous. Oh, good. <laughs> that makes me a little bit more nervous about going to a chiropractor. We should start you again. Oh yes, of course. Uh, I, a man of culture. I see. I too have suddenly developed a uh, uh, interest in local local architecture. Hmm. <laughs> That's a very, like, revealing statue for this game. But we haven't really seen anything like that so far. The rest are like statues of people in very heavy armor. Or whatever they think of. Oh, yeah, here we go, here's another one. Except this one's clothed with the most rigid blanket on the planet. I'm playing with you guys for a few pennies a month. <laughs> you do not need to attack me like that, Avery. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wait, where's the smith? Money's worth of tea. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I can't give that to you because, uh,. I mean, I got small titties. Listen, oh boy. but the statue can make up the difference. All right, listen. Oh, want to buy something? Ten of this. What was that? Hackamite gems. I think I have some of them back at my house. Maybe. Is this a? <laughs> Excellent. Hmm. This is. Oh. Can you listen to me? Hmm. Um. Oh. Oh. Okay. So this is the guy we're talking Excellent. to. Excellent. Here you go. He says you know what to do with it. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, it feels like no goals most of the time, doesn't it? Setting up first chance in the face. Yeah. <laughs> I try. I send them along as they as they show up. 
This is troubling. Coronavirus, essential components. Can you help with this? A few things in Alderaan called the Lutch Grabs to knock down from the cliff run. Okay. Listen. Chunk of huge red crystal. <laughs> Can also supply a bottle of lightning grease, three replacement valves, and a new power cord. Hmm. This is troubling. Ah, oh, fuck me, okay. Just wait until I start posting my own thirst traps. Oh, you're all gonna be so underwhelmed. It'll be crazy. Those ones I won't charge you for. It's the feet picks that I charge for. The rest is just so kind of meh that I give it away for free. Oh, actually, so I do have room now to start shooting uh, myself in the fucking head. No. Um, so I have space, and once all the shit's cleared, we'll be able to do some, like, like the yoga streams and stuff that I was planning. There's not much room to do much on this desk, but we can do... I've got a table over there that we can do some crafting streams and stuff on. Uh, and of course I can start shooting my uh, behind the scenes launch and stuff, of course. Post some. For sure. Definitely. We can we can post them together. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do some um uh I guess not just yoga, but like home workout stuff too, I guess. I don't do a lot of home workout stuff. And if you guys are really interested too, I can start filming at the gym. <laughs> if that's something you want to see. Because a lot of my workout stuff is at the gym. It's not really necessarily uh, here at home. <laughs> um, what the fuck is that noise? Hmm. Anyway. Um, but yeah, the yoga stuff will be here because that's a very easy thing to do at home and I feel like it'll be good for me because I'm very inflexible and then you can follow along if you like. <laughs> Let's watch this noodle of a man try and bend himself in ways not what possible. Can I help you? This worries me. Yes! Farewell, my friend. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I, I'll only start filming stuff at the gym if you guys really want want it. Um, it's not like you can really tell what's going on anyway. I'm dressed head to toe in like incognito gear. <sighs> can I get rid of anything? Oh shit, you know what I really need to do? Is go home and drop some stuff. Oh, a lot of this crap can just go. Do you have a power coil? I have a power coil. From a large electronic device, a cheaper piece of large crystal and electric lab, and bring it to us. Okay, so we can get all that stuff in the electric lab. Right. Where's... Want to buy? Oh boy. Boston mandatory? Uh, no. <laughs> Very much not mandatory. But I still do. Mainly, well, one, because for a while there, a lot of people I knew from like school and stuff were going. And I just couldn't fucking be bothered. It makes you sound like a bit of an asshole, I know, but I just couldn't be bothered to, like, talk to these people. But, uh, I still wear it because it 
I just, I just like to do a freak like that, I guess. Uh, I like masks. I wear them whenever I can. Uh, it's not a sex thing. Or is it? That's for me to know and you to find out. <laughs> yeah. Social <laughs> Can I help you? Let me. Hang on. Oh, someone trying to ring me. Fuck's sake. Oh <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, You know what? I have to. I have to agree with you, Avery. You are spot on with what you what your version of a thirst trap 100 percent good <laughs> speaking of freshly washed sheets i actually bought some sheets that were on sale that i've been looking at for a while because i'm an adult and i like boring stuff like that now but i bought a set of 1500 thread count cotton something or other sheets it's gonna be good this they were down me. from $200 to 80 curious snap that shit right up can you lend me a hand need shark cartilage ew gross okay um can I help you this worries me wait a second we are going oh actually so I wanted to get a backpack, didn't I? Uh, what? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, I didn't realize that was quite so bright now. Turn this down a little. There we go. Yes. They're quite expensive. Actually, they were more. They're like 250, uh, but they're really good quality. And I'm kind of I'm getting to that point. I don't mind. How do I say this without sounding weird? So I find like sheets and stuff kind of. If you buy cheaper ones, they don't last as long. And I'm kind of I got kind of sick of buying sheets every six months. Because you buy the cheap ones, like the color washes out pretty quickly, and then they, they feel rough. And I'm not usually one for like sensory issues, but when, when I'm trying to sleep on like rough feeling sheets, it's just I can't sleep well, and I struggle enough as it is. And these yes, ones are like, me. these are what, like, just below what silk is. And I can't afford silk because silk sheets are like 2000 fucking dollars. If if I could afford silk sheets, I would. I'm a, I'm a bit of a silk slut. <laughs> um, like I have the silk pillowcases and stuff, mostly for my curly hair. But yeah. Um, I have to see what this call was. I get eaten anyways. Yeah. Well, for me, I don't have any pets anymore. <laughs> like usually. Well, that's true. But I like stuff looking it's cool. Let's try the right hand to see. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hang on. I'll be back in a second. I'm just going to see what this phone call is about. I grab something to drink as well. Back in a sec.
Whoops. Still the grandpa beard. Still there. Um. <laughs> okay. Scooch in here real quick. Uh, what's going to take less time? Because if we we have a we can get a backpack. We've done pearl collar in you. <laughs> How many have we posted? Hot thirst traps available in creative right now. <laughs> Is an adorable picture of uh, of Homer. Uh, I guess we're gonna have a we're gonna sleep and then head out. And if if we have trouble with this dungeon, I guess we'll try and head out to get that backpack. He cuddles in his sleep. Oh my god. How dare he be so adorable? Holy something shit. on your mind? Want something on your mind? Want us? Pay attention! 25 silver. Fucking hell. Steal out robbery. Oh, I should have repaired. Shit. It also talks like a husky. <laughs> Oh god. I feel like I'd love a husky in theory. I like a, they're very pretty dogs. But I feel like it would drive me freaking mental. Like, yeah, I get it. You're not happy with the dry food. Give it a fucking rest. It's all you're getting. Sorry. Probably pretty loud. How's the sound and everything? Is it echoey or anything? Hopefully not. Hair opinionated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, def that's one word for it. Very opinionated. I do love them though. Although I feel like if you've got a, if you've got uh, allergies, you're basically leaving yourself open to be sneezing for the rest of your life all their lives I guess oh, fancy dress alright let's get out of here let's go and see where this dungeon is no worries uh oh Oh, where am I? Hello. You're all very scantily clad here compared to everywhere else. I'm in the wrong place where... Oh. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. You know what, I can probably take this and sell it, can't I? I got, I've got, no. Oh, I guess not. I'm quickly done. I've gone the wrong way anyway, so... Oh my god. Is this where they just... This is like the slums, I guess? Is this where they just dump all the bodies? Oh, I can't, I can't hide behind the, um, it is the slums, yeah. I can't hide behind the microphone when I yawn now. See that in all its glory. Ooh. 
want to. Oh boy. Yeah, that's not really. It's not really worth a whole lot. I think some people do that. We don't have, um, there, I don't actually have like a butcher around me. We, there was a butcher, um, like in the, the main street for a little while when I was a kid. Um, but all like the authentic butchers around here went out of business. But I, that's like what my, my nan used to do that. My grandmother. She used to, um, have a whole bunch of dogs and she'd go to the butcher and just be like oh can you give me the you know the off cuts of all the bones or whatever of what you've like cut up for the day and it was like yeah sure here you go I'm, i was just gonna throw them out anyway but <laughs> the like big supermarkets ran all the butchers out of business this is which is really depressing actually it's true and okay we had to tell the difference but one was like free one would pay like 10 bucks for. See how much chicken is now? Pfft. Gross. Oh god. Ancient ruins. Is that the one we have to go to? The walled garden. Tree village. It's from the electric grab. Abandoned docks. I'm guessing this is it. So, right, so if we go straight down here, I guess. Yeah, they sell a lot of weird stuff that I personally would kind of be like, mm -hmm. not, to, not for me, thanks. But some people are like, oh, yeah, that, that. yeah, you can go, or you used to, like the, the butcher that used to be around, you could buy fucking, they would keep all the, like, offal. Like the the juicy bits, which is fucking disgusting. Um, but some people love that um, kind of stuff. I'm not a big meat eater, so I'm not a fan. But I guess dogs probably. <laughs> it depends on how spoiled your dog is, I suppose. And I mean, some dogs. Some dogs will like seen those videos of puppies that won't eat their dinner unless it's like the owner fake microwaves it and stuff <laughs> which I always find quite funny oh you little fucker so pleased is it? I guess it's around here. His cutlery as well. No, <laughs> they might as well. It's weird. Like I, I, I don't know if they really prefer it, but you dogs get into this like this habit. So it was probably like one time where the dog wouldn't eat anything, and so to make you know, I don't know dogs are weird like that. Some dogs have just weird, like, bougie personalities. And, like, literally all they did, they, like, they stuck it, they took the dog's bowl, which was plastic, put it in the microwave, pressed a few buttons, didn't actually microwave it, and then took it out. And that was, like, that was enough to make the dog eat it. Fucking really? <laughs> Your dog can tell. <laughs> smart dog. Annoying, but smart. Yeah, so I, I'd say like maybe the dog even saw them using the microwave a lot 
and was like, oh, I want that too. That wouldn't surprise me. So, hang on, I'm just going to look up this backpack real quick. Uh, what? No, it would. So, uh, this book we have gives us 5% five, five more, um, get out of here, 5% more damage to our traps or like lightning or whatever it is but that five percent doubled the damage literally doubled it so i'm thinking if we get this lightning uh mender's backpack i think it gives another so it gives 10 percent bonus which means that's tripled yeah, all in total that'll triple the damage. That'll mean we can like one shot stuff. Which would be a godsend. Because <laughs> we are very clearly struggling. I am struggling in this. So if we if this sort of dungeon ends up being a bit of a pain in the ass. We'll head back and try and do that. I'm hoping it's the lightning. Because uh is it? Switches to this, to this so you're not just looking at random stuff. Um, uh, we, yeah, the damage is weird. So the the book that we have doubled our damage, but the only unless it's like a secret skill that doesn't actually show you it's uh ah, okay so it might actually not do much um what it gonna say? yeah so the book has some sort of damage bo boost thing that is an, an actual stat in the game but i'm thinking that the backpack might have something similar as well because equipping the backpack uh, the book doubled our damage. Uh, and you're right, 10% doesn't usually mean triple. But this game's weird. Very, very strange. Uh, so what? In that case, maybe I don't need the backpack. Hmm. I might, have to, I might look that up. Sort of out of the stream and see if that's actually what what it is because it's a lot of effort it's not like a oh we'll just pop over and grab it it's like oh we have to go and do like a massive quest just to get it ruined outpost okay i don't think this is the right place Hey guys. Oops. Ow. I can't believe I still remember the ruse. Only way of dealing consistent 
uh, damage where I'm not getting hit. Because of how much... Um, uh, health and stamina I sacrificed were very, very, very squishy. Um, but the sword deals a ton of damage as well. Uh, all this runic stuff deals a lot of damage. It's just the fact that I'm a bit shit <laughs> that stops us from using the uh, the melee stuff too much. But the traps are like it's like half their health in in one go, so makes it it's like much more much more worth going for the traps instead of like risking it in melee combat and that's why I kind of want to you know what fuck it maybe I'll just I'll look it up let me look this up does my menders backpack uh make runic traps <laughs> We all know really long sentences like this. Um, yeah, see, I don't have any lightning attacks. So maybe it's just the 5% ethereal. Uh, yeah, because there is something called the Golden Lich set, which is apparently a real bitch to obtain, but it's really good. So... Gold Lich set. Can I touch it? Was <laughs> great, uh, great dungeon. Hey, so it's the only. Is it? What can I get that does more ethereal damage? <laughs> I guess the only way to test it would be to get the backpack and then you know mosey back and forth and see if it did more damage. Oh, there we go. Antique plate stuff gives you a bonus to ethereal. Couple armor. So, I guess... Oh my fucking god. This thing gives you a 50% mana... And a, oh my... What is this? This is like... Can... Hang on. Can, which can only be used by troglodyte play. What? Mm. That's weird. Oh my god. Um, thanks for the raid, Icky Flips. Holy shit. Sorry, just <laughs> jumping in when we're like trying to micromanage the our build. Goes the build terribly, terribly, terribly. Uh, the alert is missing. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the alert there. It's popped up on the feed, but the uh. Thing has gone completely but thanks for the raid appreciate it what were you guys just playing uh all right sorry we'll get out of this we'll go back to the interesting stuff i'll figure that stuff out later um clearly we're in the wrong spot here for what we want to do just on outward nice what uh are you much further along than I am, I'm assuming so, because we are not very far at all. We're like still really in the baby baby areas. I wonder where that alert has gone. Mm. Oh, hi, hello. So where? <clears throat> Excuse me. Where is the frickin' dungeon? He did say to the south. Build is finished. Nice. What build did you go for? Oh, God. I'm going for whatever it makes me survive longest and whatever the internet tells me to do because I'm, I mean, not very good at this game. Uh, even at a stretch. 
guess maybe it's there. That's the only other place. The sand. Oh fuck, sand rose cave. Then docks. Yeah, I guess we'll just go up here. See what it is. Running shot. Oh yeah, cool. I've seen some of the enemies use them, and they look really fun. But I, I feel like I've been we've been so poor in this game that changing any kind of build is just impossible. No worries, Zicky Flips. Thanks for the raid, appreciate it. Um yeah, enjoy 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 your food. <laughs> hmm. I don't know about this. Supply calls in an electric lab. Is that it there, maybe? I think that's the walled garden. Some do. Some lose interest very, very quickly, and others do not. Some of them will chase you for fucking ever, it seems like. But... Some of them have like chased me until they've killed me. So I don't know, I think it depends on which enemy. They're all a little bit different. Annoyingly. Could that maybe be the lab? Hmm, I guess we'll, we'll have to find out. It's probably not. Sandro's cave. Yeah. I mean, there's no time limit on the other things, so we can, like, go through these fairly well. Oh, there's that fucking coffee again. Hmm. Anywho. Maybe it's somewhere. Oh. That's corruption. That's not good. That's the best. <laughs> well, there's no bonus for killing enemies at all. You don't. Get, oh well, you get that what they drop, but like you don't get XP. If you're lucky, they might drop some money, but it's not worth it unless you really, really have to, or like you're just powerful. Like we can, we can get away with killing some stuff. Um without too much trouble. But otherwise it's just it's not worth it. Like before the only thing we could kill was like wolves and stuff. And even then it was you'd kill something and then oh shit. Have to spend half the time getting your health back. Which I do still apparently have to do now. <laughs> so. See, like a little bit of cash and some food. Which is fine, but not really worth the hassle. Just pisses them off from like a mile away. Yes. Yeah, this is uh this is like actual corruption that'll make me oh, fuck there you are. Which is very, very deadly once we get up to the Oh, I did not see him. Once you get up to the highest levels, it just blows you up and you die. Well, you just take a lot of damage, but still. Uh, 
what did it, oh, it just fully fucking kicked me out. Uh, okay. Uh, All right, just to save us some time, I'm just gonna look it up. What, where this fucking place is? Electric lab. Otherwise, I'll be wandering around forever. Unless it's another one of those unmarked places, which it probably is. Okay. Okay. So, I thought he said to the to the south. Did I miss? Maybe I misread that. It's to the north. So we went the total fucking wrong way. I'll accept it. Big dummy. It's this. It's this up here. <sighs> right. <laughs> okay. Which will be to the north. I don't know. Oh no. Oh no. That's the vigil pylon to the west. So, oh no, okay, so we're here. I think. So we need to head back this way. So we're going okay. Grocery storm. Oh god. Yeah, what, what? Oh fuck. What happened? Grocery stores are usually good for uh, wild humans. At least if they're anything like here. Okay, so that's it up there. I think. How fast that thing is. Disgusting. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Oh my god, that's gonna make your shop take like four fucking hours. Ooh, yeah. I bet. I feel like that would make like a typical Walmart situation. You ever seen those videos of people in Walmart absolutely losing their shit? Over like who gets the last freaking bag of Doritos or something oh, oh god yeah good otherwise you would st you would still be there I feel like easily All right. I'm gonna turn these lights down I'm sick of how bright they are give me a second Ta -da. It's a little better. Not much, but a little. Ugh. So, <laughs> if they haven't fixed it, it's probably riots. I would say, because there's no way you're gonna get like 30 people to stand in line, each individually counting the items. That ain't gonna happen. I feel like some people would quit. I know I would. What do you mean you want me to sit here and count some a bunch of dinguses frickin' groceries? How about no? How about give me a frickin' raise? Then we'll see. Patched shipwrecks? Does that look like a patched ship? Oh, this, oh no, that's the walled garden. Can't 
kind of curious. I am very hot. That's not good. Can I stay in the shade? Uh oh. Oh, what's going on there? Uh, there we go. It's like the fight of a lifetime. It's only this. Yeah. Oh, God. Lucky got there early. What a nightmare. That's sort of like. So we have um, like bank outages every now and then. So sometimes our banks will just like their systems will fail for the day and it's kind of like well tough shit you know whether you use them for business or not um so i feel like that's kind of a similar thing if you go to the grocery store and it just isn't working I'm just gonna find this too. Let's see what's in there whatever those things are are really tough Only half dead after all that. And they don't seem too interested in me. For all know this, I do. Disgusting things. Fucking cockroaches. Blech. Yeah, we're just wandering in. Hey, buddy. Come fight these things. Oh, and you too. Wow, those cockroaches really don't care about me. They are maybe a bit of a murder burn along for the robots. friend. Oh, good job. <laughs> Go on, yeah. I can't imagine these are doing much damage against these things. Oh my god, that's quick. We did actually get a fair bit from that. Those um, cockroach things, those tongues, which I think they are, um, are like one of the rare materials you need to make one of the weapons and armor sets. I think that big one's like a boss, so I'm not too worried about trying to kill that thing. But... Okay, so if he's gonna stay there, a whole bunch of them have died at the front, so we can go and loot whoever's over there. It's good that I we we got respawned here, which is perfect. I don't know why, but in Solar 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 whatever it's called, Harmattan, 
you get spawned all over the place. It's really annoying. But every other map you get sort of sent to kind of reasonable areas, like around the same area of the map. In Solar though, fuck, it's just like a dice roll. I hope I end up somewhere close by, otherwise it's a 10 hour walk to where I've got to get to. Uh -oh. Crystal powder. Who would you have? Uh, take that too, I guess. Uh, the crystal powder, is that good? Can I use that for anything? It's probably worth something. Okay, so why am I so heavy? Tent. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I can drop them. That's why I wanted to go home, but going home is now going to cost about two or a hundred, and then I'm going to try and find a way back here, which is going to cost my sanity. So. Oh. Let's put that on the phone. <laughs> That'll cool us down, I guess. Um, prison key. Oh, that weighs a ton. Okay, we'll just have to deal with being a little bit heavy for now. And... I guess that's the fort. I mean, it looks like the fort. So, big fucking place. Jesus. Or is that it? No, I think it might be this. Which, now I'm worried. <laughs> How... This might be a long one. We might be in this dungeon for a while. Fingers crossed there's no big boss like there was before. Um, can, oh, hmm. I love it when the game does that. It goes completely dead silent. It's three feet. That would be nice. I would I would welcome that actually. Because the dungeons so far have been Well, I guess the big ones, except for that last little one. Has been brutal. And now I'm I'm stuck here. Maybe we can slide down. Ooh. Oh god, that very nearly killed me. That's a shark. Yep, that's just that's just a shark. Just like a just a shark. That sucker is flying through the air. Yep, I don't like that. One bit. Oh, and there's another one. We should have enough to heal up, hopefully. <sighs> okay, what have we got? I don't actually have that much. Sorry, I keep bumping the microphone. I don't really have that much to heal with. We've got bandages. We can make a few more. Just have to 
rely on the rune and run tactic like we've been doing so far. Hmm. Why did I trust that? Okay. Well, no choice. So we need to. We got, we've got a power coil. We need to retrieve three replacement valves from inactive forge golems in a supply closet in the electric lab. And we need some lightning grease. So hopefully this is just a big fetch quest uh, because we're not so good at bosses. This has taken us nowhere. <laughs> um. Okay, I mean, there's that thing, whatever that is. It's so weird. It's <laughs> tasty. Yeah, the, I'd like to know like more about the lore of this world. Like, what happened that lets floating sharks exist? I mean, at that point, it can't be like a wholesome world. It's an absolute mess at that point. Too bad, I don't think. I think I've fought these things before. Yeah, they're alright. As long as I keep up the mana. Hopefully, or we may even get some Hackamite from these guys, which will mean more armor, which will be very good. So I think the armor you can make with this, with Hackamite, is actually gives you more ethereal damage to them. I don't understand what's so heavy. Is it just because I've got a lot of stuff? <laughs> that might just be it. Take one of those. Perfect. Check that. Seems fairly straightforward so far. Oh. Oh. Take that. I knew you can sell them, but I don't really know what else to use them for. Okay. 
Ooh, this might be... Is this the lightning grease? Bubbles and sparks as you pour it into a small earthen pot for transportation. Easy peasy. Okay. So, that's two out of three. Retrieve a power coil. I do have a power coil, don't I? I, I just picked one up. Yeah. And then we just need the supply closet. <laughs> Wherever that is. Okay, here we go upstairs and check that because that might be the supply closet up there. I don't want to go too far. I have to walk all the way back. Shit. Um, oh, Jesus. Okay, they're not too bad, they're just quick. Very, very quick. I think this may be the supply closet. I'd love to take this stuff with me, but I really don't have the space. Once we're completely sort of free of enemies and like. Maneuver our gear around, maybe. This thing is horrendously bright, but we won't be able to see without it. <gasps> yeah. So this may actually be, <laughs> this might be really short, which is good. I am glad we got like a short mission for oh, fucking once. So now all we need is the main thing, which is a large red crystal. And I can't help, but sh I can't shake the feeling that's going to be guarded by something big and annoying. Okay. Once we do this, what time is it? Oh, 7.30. Um... All right, we'll see what time it is once we do this. Uh, and then we can fast travel out of here. Oh, what was that? Oh, hey, Stone. Thanks for the resub. Five months. Oh, my God. I really appreciate that, Stone. Thank you. Um, New place? I am, yeah. Do you like the uh, no, no weird scraggly spots on the green screen? Still kind of. Pixie alert. I don't, I didn't actually do anything. Some of them are working properly, some of them aren't. I'm not sure why. I think there's some, um, I need to, I just need to check stuff. New lighting. It's actually the same lighting, it's just being used properly. <laughs> uh, 
but at least it's like finally at full potential, you know? Instead of woefully subpar. So, better late than never, right? Oh god, okay. I'm glowing. <laughs> Okay. You look scary. You're actually not too bad. It's ghost. How's the place? Place is a mess. Looks like a bomb went off, uh, unfortunately. But that will be improved as we go. Oh god. Uh, yeah, there's cardboard everywhere, shit glasses everywhere. It's ridiculous. But, uh, slowly making my way through it, I've, I've sort of had to put a pause on, on, like, taking out the garbage because one of the bins is completely full, or a couple of the bins are completely full of my cardboard shit. So I have to leave that until until like bin day, so we can uh, so I can get rid of the rest. Yeah, slowly but steadily it'll look. Um, I've got like my TV unit thing set up. It's like a big beacon to how much of a fucking nerd I am. Um, which is always a bonus. Ooh. Something off. Stuff is secondary. <laughs> well, you say that. I actually, on purpose, um, I had to make sure that I did. I put like all the electric stuff last, otherwise, I would have gotten nothing done. Oh, fuck my backpack. What am I doing? Oh, I don't want to have to fire that on you. Hang on, I'm gonna go get my backpack. Oh, Jesus. Of course. <laughs> well, I had all the other stuff set up, but the computer was last. Um, very last, actually. Uh, I think, what did I set up first? I think like bookshelves and stuff. Those were the first, first things unpacked. Um, dishes were next, which is still oh God, there's so many. Um, but I'll get to them eventually. <laughs> and now I've got internet. I'm glad. I'm I'm glad the internet took so long. Now that I think about it. Because it's given me a chance to get everything done properly. So some movies. No, that was like my one. The one thing I really didn't want to do was get was have roommates. Um, it was getting to the point where I was like, while I was looking for a place, it was, I was really really struggling to find somewhere that would like take me. Um, that wasn't. You know, just way out of my price range. Uh, and I, I was starting to go on like those websites where it's like, oh, looking for for roommates, blah, blah, blah. It's like, I would rather be murdered, which I probably will be if I go on these sites. But thankfully, I was by myself, which is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> that was literally me. I applied to so many places. So many. And it just, like, towards the end, it was just fucking demoralizing. Um, but, hey, got there eventually. Even if it did take forever. Hmm, good, there's nothing in here. Right. I don't want to. Hmm. What am I not using? Oh, what the... Ouch. That hurt, whatever that was. 
just drink whatever's in my bag, I guess. Oh, what's there? <laughs> I didn't even notice. You're looking out for the right things, Kenda. Welcome back, Daffodil. Did you fall asleep? Is that what? Oh, of course, these ones, yeah. I mean, top tier architecture. Don't do anything. Oh, typical, 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 typical council. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Daffodil. I'm just trying to stay alive. Both in game and real life. Let's forget. We do, Daffodil. I promise. I noticed you were gone. I just thought you fell asleep. <laughs> oh. Oh, here's the, here is the crystal. There's no way that's just left unguarded. No excuses. You're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a business. Because of the sins of its brethren, the mantis shrimp have cost me too many lives. Or I guess too many concussions by this point. That's right, I'm a I'm a filthy mantis <laughs> racist. <laughs> mm. Cosplay Monday. Oh, nice. You can tell me what you're doing, or is it a secret again? 11 a.m. Hey, that's at someone's bedtime, right? My bedtime. That's what I'd rather be doing in the middle of the day. Snoozing. This must be the heavily corrupted mana stone you're looking for. The chip off the chunk and stash it in the satchel. Good job. It's always a secret. Ooh. Okay, I'm just gonna leave you to your business. I don't really need to fight you. So... I'll leave it open just in case. Four I, I, uh, I'm usually up. 4 a.m. if I have the chance is usually like my bedtime because like that's I like being up that late uh, when I'm not exhausted. But one time I stayed up until about five o'clock in the morning waiting for a stream. I think it was when Dragon Age Inquisition was coming out. I was like, they announced the stream. I was like, cool, I'll be there. I want to watch, see what's see what's new. <laughs> and it was so so early in the morning. And then the first thing they said was, oh yeah, there's going to be some spoilers in this stream, so if you don't want to see that, then switch off. So I stayed up for no fucking reason. Yeah, great, thanks. Appreciate the fucking warning. Assholes. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is how we get out, isn't it? I reckon that's true. You can use that for life, too. Although I don't. And you'll find that very depressing. I see if it's 6 a.m. That's fair. I mean, I know, like, the streams, because I'm in Australia, are very early, aren't they? Sorry for making you stay up so late. Or early. Whichever it is. Oh fuck. Fuck 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 fuck. Hmm. That's a problem. Um I have to get rid of like five kilos. A 
back to yeah, literally like right back to them, which I didn't. I forgot. I actually forgot they existed. How could I forget something like electric flying sharks exist? Oh shit. Um. So, can, do I, am I taking this back to him? Uh, yeah, okay. <sighs> okay, okay we'll drop the mana stones. That's a big, big part of it. Uh, you know what? It might literally be easier just to kill myself. Just run into the sharks and get killed. That'll probably take us closer to the city. I don't like doing, but if it's like that versus walking the whole way, it's a no brainer, really. So. Cool. <laughs> Two hits. Nice. What did I say? What, what did I say? Straight back to the city. Works like a charm. Did you see that man? It was a freaking... It was a freaking lightning shark, my guy. Uh, okay. Master Smith. Oh, I mean, engineer Magoo. So, am I dying? Mm, sometimes. Uh, a lot of the time, it's just you get really bad debuffs. And if you get killed by, or if you get knocked out by bandits, you lose uh, money. Can I help you? It's not, this it's not worries really me. Big issue. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Want to buy some? Oh, boy. You know, you would think I haven't really washed, done much laundry since I've been here. <laughs> haven't needed to. I'm still finding cat hair all over everything. Including, and not limited to, my mouth, apparently. Ladium <clears throat> scrap. We're gonna buy a backpack. It's a bit of a waste of money, really. <sighs> Just for the time being. But I'm sick of being overweight. So, we're gonna just take it. Did that go all into my pouch? No. Got some sleep. Oh, good. He's still uh, a bit too sexy. No such thing, the daffodil. No such thing. It can never be too sexy. <laughs> Great minds think alike, Kanda. <laughs> Into the hug. Oh, oh my heart. That's that's so precious. That's adorable. The national anthem. <laughs> yeah, I mean some it is some of the music is a bit hit or miss. I like most of it, but some of it's a bit too. <laughs> As long as it's uh, 
Oh, oh, that's cool. Look at the lantern. It's like it's like a carrot on a stick. Can you help with this? <laughs> hmm. Uh, hmm. Excuse me, saying that uh, blood leaking in place was still cough, blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay, I have a spare power coil. Thank you for your aid. Three replacement bounds. Excellent. And here's a bottle of lightning grease. <laughs> so, thank you for your aid. Excellent. Tell Mr. Bear Can you help with this? When delivering this other item to the Arcane Dean, a Mr. Turnbull. Put in a request for a device to measure runic frequencies. Sure. Nice speaking with you. Oh, he gave me some money. And by some money, he gave me just enough to get back to Harmattan. What a generous asshole. Jesus. You don't really get paid for what you do here. Like, it's a little demoralizing. It's just like fucking real life. <laughs> Ugh, too real. Take me home. Can I have this worries me? Um, oh, you can just buy them. Very expensive, though. Never mind. All right. Can I help? Take this me. Worries. Yes, to damn. Oh, yes. Yeah. Can I help you? This word. Yes. What do you mean you recognize me? <laughs> Is that right? Is that what we do? Don't know about you, but I like to get paid. I'm about this close to turning to a life of crime. In game and real life. So anyone needs a drug mule and the pay is good, hit me up. Ugh. Greetings, friend. That's a joke. Twitch, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> what is it? Uh, so who do we have to... Oh, I'm going to go and sleep first, but the Dean? Which I guess is the, the guy at the very top of the tower thing? Consume that too, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's film me shelving several... Um, lubed up plastic wrapped packages of drugs I'm sure that'll make Twitch very happy and then we can uh, stream the jail footage uh, so yeah perfect joke to <laughs> not, allowed, not allowed a joke on Twitch it's illegal Next week mugging stream. <laughs> <laughs> this week on Dark Miss Stream. Let's see how I make rent this week. <laughs> Hand over all your money. Or I'm gonna fucking kill you. That'll be fun. I'm in the right area for it. Oof. Uh, what else did I want to play? All this is like instantly will make our weight like next to nothing. What on earth was that? Jesus. Mm, what else? What else can we get rid of? We don't need that here. Mm, don't need that. Yeah. Let's go have a look at the tents actually. 
Eh. 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 No. <laughs> I'll be honest, I've moved from like one shithole into another. The place is nice, but the neighborhood is probably. Is there something you need? Rougher than I would like. Um, so, where I am, I'll tell you a little story. Story time with Dark Uh Where I am, there's like a shopping center. Probably. Uh, and maybe like a 10 minute walk, 5 minute drive close to me. Last year three people were killed in there in the underground parking lot area. Uh, I can't remember exactly how many but a fair few were like robbed. Uh, a bunch of cars were stolen. What else? Some old like elderly gentleman got beaten so bad he nearly died. So yeah. Not a fantastic area but I'm like far enough away and your boy has a katana and a baseball bat so come at me <laughs> I'm waiting to use it fun facts <laughs> very fun facts as long as you're not squeamish Okay, uh, let's go and turn this stuff in, shall we? And go to the Dean first. Uh, <laughs> somewhere. Not necessarily. <laughs> it's just like stuff I heard on the grapevine. And when I looked up like the area, it was like, bam. This is what happens. It's like, oh. Oh, goody. Goody, goody, goody. Exactly. Nothing personnel chat teleports behind you. <laughs> oh, that's an old that's an old meme, but it checks out. When will that runic frequency metronome be finished? It's been weeks since I commissioned it. Okay. <laughs> One day. One day. It's not a very good katana. You want, you want me to... I forget. I guess I can, like, show stuff off now because I'm not squished into, like, a can of sardines. Hang on. Well, it's not a very good one. It's a... It's, like, a second hand. It's sharp, though. It's very sharp. Ah, it's you. Oh. Wrong headmaster. Hang on. I'll grab I think some people have already seen it, but... <laughs> God. Well, if God was on my side, I feel like I wouldn't be in this neighborhood. But anyway... So, I bought this from a second-hand, like, garbage shop, basically. <laughs> but, see this little, little this up here? It's held on by a nut. Uh, and I took this handle off, and it's actually just like a steel beam. But, um, like, this is all held on by, like, friction. So it's about to fall off. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that cool? I have a sword. <laughs> It's very bent, though. Very bent. Yeah, it's cool. To protect my virginity with, of course. And it's missing the end cap. So. Like I said, second hand. So yeah, have we cut anything with it? Uh, no. Uh, I nearly cut myself, um, by accident, and I took it out of, it was like, it was in, it was in a basket full of like, walking canes, and I picked it up and because it's not really held on properly, kind of just, um, 
popped out and then I and almost cut myself. So. But it's sharp. Uh, you can do like a little finger test. It's sharp enough to cut stuff. But I don't know. It's not really... <laughs> I would like to. Maybe we can do something like that. Uh, eventually. Um... But I, I'm honestly not sure if I swing that thing, the blade's not just going to go and fire off like a rocket because it's not like it's not held on very well. The inside of the handle is like a bent, twisted, like steel rod. It's not an authentic katana by any means. It cost me like thirty dollars. Um, it's just some like for uh, not even forged a bit of garbage really. Ah, greetings. Oh. Oh, wow. Yes, this is exactly what I was hoping for. I'll be glad to test it out for you. We have just the operation in mind, actually. Just repair it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'll need some glue and some uh, hopes and dreams and some duct tape. Ah, this is Henry. He's the leader of the Wolfgang Mercenaries. If you want, come on here, your share of the profits. Wolf medic armor. Ooh. <laughs> Dismissed. Okay. That's actually like really expensive armor, I think. Mana cost. Ooh. Protection resistances. I do like, I like our armor better, even though we look like a dingle. That's kind of cool. Oh, right, right. Let's go and sell it. <laughs> exactly, can't go wrong with duct tape. Duct tape can like hold, I'm sure, hold like a spaceship together if you use enough of it. <laughs> sure, it'll be fine for a katana. How can I help you? I, w I would like like a proper one though. Because, like I said, that one's a bit of garbage, but uh, I would like to find and have a, a halfway decent one. Maybe something from like Bleach or <laughs> something would be cool. What to balance? Shield. Uh, okay. Different uh, material. Have my deepest gratitude. Uh, it's been years because we've been looking at this gang of mechanics camping in a canyon nearby. Victor's got Wolf Gang to go kill them. Victor, what? Oh, damn. Damn. How did he find them? Something wrong. This troubles me greatly. Do you mean you're working with the mechanics? Oh, it's not what it sounds like. I can tell you have doubts. Let me prove it to you. Circular panel thing. Oh! Well, yes. Back when the old nobility used cool. to run things, it was the only way to perform research they didn't approve of. Ooh! Hidden lab. Nice. Or Kill Bill. I haven't actually seen Kill Bill. I know there's lots of katanas in it. But I haven't actually. I've never seen it. Thank you for coming. Desi tells me you two already know each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were working with Victor, too. Can you hold it over your head? Uh, sure. So, at first, uh, I was trying to discover a way to destroy the Scourge with magic. I have a deep connection with the corruption, so I wanted to find a way to use long lasting moves to spell it and essentially starve the entire horde. Then I noticed something odd. The Scourge have a much deeper connection it's, to Yeah, there's, a, there's like a long list of stuff I have to watch, like cardinal sins for not having watched. Gotta get around to that one day. <laughs> oh god. There's just, uh, the, the list just keeps getting longer and longer. With the right combinations of runes, 
I was able to alter its behavior. Due to Slater and I was convinced the Scourge urge to kill all living things, and especially their instinct to hunt Elat, is actually an invocation from a spell. If this theory holds. In fact, when I take a look, close look at the Scourge blood that Naturalist Division was working on, I confirmed even the blood itself works violently. Everything about the Scourge's base nature is controlled by that spell's command. And if there's a spell involved, there's a counter spell that can mitigate the effect. Convinced that we can eliminate the killing urge from the entirety of the Scourge, removing the instinct to kill a lat and their urge to harm everything else. Follow my logic and imagine what this means for me. I don't know. I don't really know that much about the Scourge. And what happens next? Your typical Scourge beasts become nothing more than wild animals. Rather than attack and hunt everything around them, they only kill what violates their territory or safety. It would significantly reduce the scale of their rampages. And as for the Immaculates, they are intelligent. Because it's done as possible, no turning against all living things in their frustration. If you remove the killing urge, what would an intelligent species do? Some will carry on as usual because it's what they know. Others yes, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> like I said, the list just keeps getting bigger and bigger. I still gotta go through, like I've missed a whole bunch of Marvel stuff that I've gotta go back and watch. Star Wars is releasing like 70 different shows in about three weeks. The entire I don't have time, I don't have time <laughs> to watch all this stuff. Sorry you can't hear the voices over the music, I don't, this whole game, the music is so much louder than literally everything else. The war will basically almost end itself. Would annihilating all of them be a more expedient solution? Of course! But I haven't figured out how to do that. And um, we get to save sentient species. Yeah, I'm not against genocide. I mean, I'm not for genocide. Oof. Yes, that's a nice bonus. Having an entire sentient species owe us the money. Even if my theory is correct, I can't truly make it happen without an <laughs> actual immaculate to work this it magic It was definitely on. different. I didn't mind it. I went to the theaters to, to the theater, theater to watch it. Um, it was just very different from like the other ones. I think like it was Thor um, um, Ragnarok times ten, which I, I I I sort of get why people didn't like, but I thought it was fine too. Your green screen, hey Juliet, yes, it's great, isn't it? There's no, oh I mean there's a little if I like go crazy. But there's no like weird gravelly grainy thing. Just so it solves the problems. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so was marathon last year. You got great taste after. I need to do one again. So. Oh, I don't like this at all. I'm doing alright, Juliet. How you doing? Have you uh, decided on whether to cut your hair or not? I'm I'm for leaving it long. That's uh, that's casting my vote in there. Oh god. Um no, hang on, I'm gonna look at what this quest actually means because this could be big and this game has a big habit of not really telling you everything. Can I just missing the same here? Yeah, I think I, it's sort of like one of those uh, acquired taste things too. I think after a while some people are just kind of... Not after a while, but some people... Some people like the more serious Marvel stuff, others like the more sort of jovial ones. And when you get those two budding heads it gets quite <laughs> violent. Uh oh, I don't actually think this is a choice. Oh, oh shit. So this quest can end up. Oh, fuck.
So all of the mercenaries wandering around this entire plateau can become hostile. <laughs> That's not good. Got something. Oh, nice. Okay. And uh, sure, that looks great, Juliet. Explain death. Uh, I haven't heard of that one, Daffodil. Like I said, I am not up to date on shows. Sod base. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, This is a shitty fucking quest, okay. I need this done. As for you, Desi. Wait! Hold on! That pirate Oh, is that what he's been taught? I've seen some interviews where he's talked about pirate stuff. <laughs> Just shaming what she's choosing. <laughs> My sister-in-law Helen has always told me that Actually, you're no, resourceful. It's, it's more, I'm not, um, to me. I'm not big on, like, live-action stuff at the moment. I'm not really sure why. I, I find a lot of live-action stuff, um, kind of aggravating. I, 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 again, I'm not, not really sure why that is. I'm kind of... I tried to watch a little bit of um, something the other day. I got five minutes in and I was like, no, back to the anime. <laughs> I'm just not mentally prepared for it at the moment, I don't think. Oh, I don't? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll, uh, I'll get right on that. It's a current game. <laughs> <sighs> Unacceptable. Paparazzi. Ugh. You can just batter them. It's fine. I won't tell anyone. Ridiculous or creepy. Yeah, I don't know. It's just like, I, if I'm going to watch something, I have like no spare time. So if I'm going to watch something, I've got to be invested. And if I'm not, I. It's just like torture. Oh. Oh, give me a second. I'll just, I will go to the bathroom. We'll be back.
115. Holy fucking shit, that's a lot of viewers. What game are you playing, Tavatil? <laughs> What's getting you so much fame? Fame and fortune are on the way, apparently. Uh, right, okay, so where do we have to go for this? Enter the Crafter Cave in the North, north East Antique Plateau in a canyon mage. I'm going, ah, uh, this, this quest is timed, I'm pretty sure, but. We'll have a snooze first. People scary in big numbers. Yeah, I, I tend to get like, I've never had quite that many at all, but. I think there's a few times where there was like a big raid came in and I tend to be like oh shit there's a lot of people and then I trip over my words oh good now they all think I'm a dingus find a hospital with this game what are you what are you what game is this is this like um it's like pigeon dating sim is that what it is that's 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 how you get uh Uh, husband. Excuse more uncontrollable say <laughs> yeah, too. Hard to keep a, a lid on the on the chat when it's going four hundred miles an hour. Slime rigid. <laughs> okay, never. Never forget any. Greetings, friend. And we'll get priority, that's for sure. Slime Ranch. I played a bit of Slime Rancher 1. That was only. Ouch. I only noticed that uh, Slime Rancher 2 was out because of some weird TikTok I saw. Some people like those slimes a little too much. <laughs> You're right, Juliet. It is very sad work? Ugh. I'll take Slime Rancher any day. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. I remember that. Mm. Uh, northeast. Is there a map? Oh, it's through that. Okay, I'm better off going through the city again. <laughs> what do you mean? Dressing up as a banana is the best way to attract someone. <laughs> 98 points, <laughs> holy shit. See? People love the banana. In every way, shape, and form. How about that? <laughs> I mean, you've got to carry forth. Uh, carry through with that though, right? If you... If you end up going out with someone you're gonna dress up as full banana oh. otherwise it's like what banana fishing or something which i'm sure is definitely a legit term okay i think it's up here oh my god i can mark stuff no that does anything <laughs> uh, yeah. and one thing I've learned after being on the internet since a very young age is you can never quite tell what people's kinks are and that's what makes life fun I guess <laughs> uh. Someone's 
<laughs> Probably. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, well, I mean, half your luck if you're... If that's what you're into. <sighs> Ooh. Oh no, have I gone the wrong way? Yeah, I have. Okay, let me go back over. Jesus. <laughs> it's just, this has been a very uh, horny chat <laughs> tonight. Mm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Seems like it's, uh, you know. You got that in the, in your back pocket now. It's like your secret weapon. Oh fuck! Okay. So <laughs> it's by design, Juliet. Let them all out. There's no <laughs> as filthy as you want to be. Everyone else is. <laughs> Is there a difference? I feel like they kind of mingle into each other. Oh, come away. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> The line there is very, very thin. It's very easy to cross over from one to the other. Oh my god, there's a lot of those altars. Oh, I want to have a look, but I don't want to die. The last one killed me pretty quickly. We'll give it a go. It's fine. using a shock roll. Oh my god, these guys are way easier now. A blood sorcerer. Oh, that's cool. Food and gun. Clearly, you have taste them. What the fuck was this? What do you want me to do with this? Blood altar. Do I need. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up, but sure. Nothing is happening. What's a blood altar do? But you're right, yes, food and cuddles are best. Easily. Oh, it's how you make vampiric weapons. I see. Oh, I see. Okay, that's cool. All right, so you can use them if you have a weapon with a certain enchantment. You can come back and get like a special. Uh, a healing weapon. Please tell me this is the right place. Crop okay, okay, good.
Oh, okay. We'll we'll do this quest and then we'll call it. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's nice to actually just be able to sit back slightly. <laughs> Which doesn't sound like a lot, but it really is. Hello. Pretty kind of freaky. Okay, take your stuff first. This can all go to shit as well. So, you know, just a warning. We might be getting out of here uh, unconscious. Just come to slay us, have you? You're foolish to come without help, you've been. No, I'm not. I'm here to help you. I work with Gregory Turnbull. You may receive his aid in winning us for an instant hate kill our natural enemy, but nearly a full moon we have waited and our men the spells and steel gather outside our cave with intent to kill. I'm here to help you escape. Half and claim all maggots the same, yet when we are corn like them, we must tell the difference between which human's friend and which is foe. Ah. Uh, Trust in you, blah blah blah. Less humans will be killed by sketch. A rational reason. <laughs> I can understand that. It's the same for me. My species is finite. Every human who slays a mecha loves the world of their unique voice. Lots of perspectives. I wish only for the slaying stop. Uh, so I borrowed the visitors as an odd. Can I pull it? Even if this fails in it. It has merit. Whether we are freed or whether we are cast aside, all false, false hope, I'll be able to make peace with my existence. I am tempted. Cast same. Tend to do if you succeed in removing our deepest instinct. We will be freed from our chains only to find our unity shattered and easy pickings for your warriors to slay. Cast the same. Will your kin use their freedom to betray us or work us? <sighs> I don't have the answer either, human. I wish these people would speak. Many want nothing more than solitude. Others revel in their violent instincts. Others obey it merely because they know no alternative. I suppose unpredictability is the curse of freedom we both share. I'll give you and the human turn rule this chance. Then I will come with you. But you must clear a path for my kin to escape those men outside the cave and try to kill us when we step outside. Good. So I'm about to get freaking railed and not in a good way. Uh, okay. Get all the bells and whistles out. We're going. We save up some money so we can get the next um, level of rune spells because it looks a lot more powerful. One sound check. Uh, I think each area has their own like playlist sort of thing. But you can actually buy, if you're interested, you can buy the soundtrack to this game. If, if you like it. It's on, um, on Steam. I think I got it as part of... Actually, no, I don't. But, um... You... That really hurt. Like, what am I supposed to do against that? F fuck me sideways. Because mm. we've been in the same area for god knows how long. <laughs> I'm starting to get the... It's starting to, like, uh... Send me insane. Maybe we call but at least mission has a chance of success. Your eyes chained up in Dark Cage, Wolfgang Mercenary walks past and shoves a torch in your face. We paid 
to take you alive. Someone's uh, okay. Right. Oh, you're going to attack me now? So now all of these are hostile. The only friendly NPCs in the entire game that won't kill me. Might be worth it though. Holy shit. Oh, where's my backpack? <laughs> Oh no. So just, oh shit, yeah, I remember the. Um, I forgot they were going to make another freaking Witcher show. Could be cooler. Third season. I know the, the quality of shows is like exponentially better now these days, but I'm, I really miss the. Um, the days of like 20 episodes it's, it's kind of it's annoying waiting like a whole year to get 10 freaking episodes it's like oh okay I have I guess if you're lucky 10 hours if they're all hour long episodes most of the time they're not really. Oh, fuck off. That's a very annoying spell. Exercise. <laughs> I mean, he's probably not wrong. Uh. <laughs> I probably lost all my money, so you have I wish these fuckers would take my bag. Oh god, now I'm miles away too, aren't I? Oh, money's still there. Good. <laughs> that seems to be a bit of a theme at the moment, doesn't it? Digital effects are kind of all over the place. Greetings, friend. I mean, there are there are reasons for that, but um, oh, yeah. so that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's just unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. And yeah, I mean, I've been hearing, uh, like, just from the grapevine, that digital effects artists are being treated like pretty much slave labor at the moment. Which, I mean, not really most appropriate. Um, comparison, I gotta say, but possibly relevant. Right then. That's what I'm doing, Juliet. I'm I'm gonna wait until it's all out, and then I'm definitely gonna legitimately buy it. Definitely, very legitimately. From the pirate pay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, really? Although, to be fair, I mean, Peter Jackson did a pretty good job with the CGI. It looks a little dated now, but if it looks even even if it looks the same as that, that's that's pretty pathetic.
Oh god, yeah. Take practical effects any day. They just look like you can tell. It, there's a there's a like part in your brain that can tell when a practical effect is kind of it's not quite, but it's still preferable to terrible CGI. Terrible CGI can like ruin the whole fucking thing for you. At least mine. Mine can. Oh shit. Yes, that's like the best way to do it. You mix the two. You, then it's like not quite as expensive, but you also get the same quality, kind of. No worries, Avery. Uh, we're gonna finish up in a second here, so if we don't see you, we'll catch you tomorrow. Hopefully, it's all good news. Fingers crossed. So sleepy. Yeah. I've seen some of the sets movies are like now. It's kind of it's like you're acting in just like a big blue room <laughs> or a big green room. It's like you. Sensory overload. Or whatever the exact set sensory deprivation, sorry. I don't even think I played that game. Oh, what was I gonna say? There was something No, I've forgotten. Seems like it, yeah. There's a little bit of a frame dip that I noticed, but other than that, like nothing nothing actually counting as lag. Which is always good. I think I'm streaming Am I streaming in I'm streaming in 1080p, so there's not really much we can I guess 4K, but I don't want to push my luck. Mr. Capcom say, oh don't worry Juliet, Capcom has a sale every freaking two months at this point, so you're probably okay. They'll, uh, the sale will pop up again, especially when the Christmas sales happen. You'll be able to get whatever you need, because Capcom kind of just throws their games at you all the time, which is fine, I like Capcom stuff, so I'm perfectly happy to take that when they offer it. So I'm not very good at games like Devil May Cry, where you know you have to have actual skill to be able to play. That is true. Yeah, Hall Halloween though, you'll probably get a lot of the horror games on sale, which is good too. Greetings, friend. Well, we have we do actually have enough to go and hmm. we'll have to look at that next time. Black Friday's probably the, that'll be the one. That'll be the one where everything is like crazy cheap. Hopefully. <laughs> Victor's got me training with the wolf gang. I've learned quite a bit already. I had my doubts about Victor. Ugh. Every single one of my muscles is in open revolt. <laughs> sound, sound, yeah. I, I, I sometimes wish. Hmm, a lot of the time, I don't have the patience for like a sale. But then on the flip side of that, sometimes I don't have the like <laughs> the money <laughs> to be to pay for full price. I was done. Just like, oh, fuck it, I'll wait until it's on sale. And I get bored. I was like, oh, I'll just buy it anyway. No matter what, I just end up spending money. Uh, uh, okay, sure. Fantastic work. And to do any case, as far as I'm concerned, we're going to hit the arcane concerned. branch. Putting work in the fridge for it. Likely won't take this lane down. Okay. Oh, gold ingot. Nice. Cool. All done. I'm gonna have a task for three days. All right, cool. Remember that. Head back to the house and sleep, I guess, and then we'll call it. 
pasta cereal and banana. That, I gotta say, that's quite the mixture. <laughs> Don't know if I could do that, but nice. I hope it tastes good. Should I pay for price? Yeah, it's fair. I like, uh, yeah, I like most a lot of old games anyway, so most of them are on sale, kind of perpetually anyway. Although my wish list is just like, I, I use my wish list as a um, as like a bookmark for all the games I want to check out maybe at some point. There's like 400 of the suckers on there. No, I guess I'm going to put it in the way. It's kind of listen. <laughs> I'm not just sleep until the next full day. Pair our stuff. It's 7 a.m. Oh well, there's nothing wrong with a bit of a like a lazy day, definitely. Those are the best days. Oh man. All right. Oh, I'll try and get the. Uh, other games fixed or like just re-downloaded now that I have internet we can we can re-download them all and hopefully they'll work a bit better here's some coffee I've had about four or five cups a day I'm st I still feel like I'm no energy time to go back to bed and we just have a little nap and uh, like an hour or two although a nap like that for me usually turns into about seven hours big flex all right stoned what do you i don't have a pen with me so what <laughs> i'll try to remember i'll post it in the discord what uh what game what game would you like us to play next that's fair well i mean one more day can't hurt but still if you feel like doing something you'll think about it all right post it in the discord because i probably will forget just chuck in the game uh, recommendations and we'll make it happen. As long as you're not too cruel to me, please be gentle. More tired, you want. Yeah, it's actually. The caffeine doesn't affect me anymore. I wish it did, but it doesn't. Preference list. That's right, if you don't. If there's nothing on the list you feel like seeing, don't. You can pick something and we'll just. Um, try and get a hold of it at some point. <laughs> just, don't need a husband for that. You can just buy a dishwasher. You can buy like these. Little, I've, <laughs> I've actually been looking at one because my place doesn't have a dishwasher. I've been looking at these like countertop ones. Let's get one of them. Don't have to deal with the, a man being in the house then. Ugh, man. Ugh, gross. Um. <laughs> exactly, Julia. That's my thoughts exactly. Men, you don't need them. Waste of space. <laughs> Too expensive. Well, I guess it depends what's uh what's more expensive. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Uh well that is true yeah if you take payment and cuddles then a dishwasher definitely does not uh, does not serve in that respect mm. all right well uh, on that note I'm gonna go and cry and also <laughs> wrap it up for tonight thank you all very much for watching uh, from now on stream should be pretty constant there's nothing happening that I can think of that's going to mess with the streams. Uh, internet's fairly stable so far. Um, all the main stuff is set up, so back to the old schedule. And um, we'll try and do so. I don't work on Fridays, so we'll try and do longer streams Thursday night and Fridays. Um, 
but we'll, we'll figure that out as we go. Sorry. Oh jinx, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, stream? No problem, Juno. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Alright, so yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. We'll probably play Styx or Eratus, one of the two, whichever I can download first. Um Yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day or night, whichever it is. Thanks again for watching. Thank you, Stoned, for the resub and Icky Flips <laughs> for the raid. <laughs> Icky Flips. Nice. Uh, and yeah, I will see you all uh, tomorrow. Fingers crossed. So yeah. Bye. <laughs>